At Chinfunchi we have um, a volunteer house dedicated for our volunteers which is a three bedroom uh, cottage so we have two twin bedrooms uh, fitted out with mosquito nets. We then have separate facilities for a kitchen where we have our meals um, or we can sit underneath the lapper which is a big thatched um, roofed area. Normally we'll work with the chimps in the morning and then we'll try and do some infrastructure improvements uh, you know, around the chimpanzee wildlife sanctuary. And then we would do some food preparation, like uh, making some shima balls uh, for the chimpanzee. Chimpanzee feeding is always an interesting part of the day actually. Uh, so the chimpanzees come in from their massive enclosures, they all somehow come in and um, the keepers will come and they'll throw food to the chimps and the chimps will eat it and then they'll stay in the feeding area for like half an hour, 45 minutes each day. Volunteers also get involved with some of the community work. Depending on the day on the morning, we would go um, doing some behaviour enrichment. That's where we provide stimulation for four of our uh, more charming and intelligent chimps that have been known to escape from the larger enclosures. Once upon a time I built this amazing box, I mean amazing, completely chimp proof. I hammered it down, I put bamboo to reinforcement and the idea was that the chimps, because they kept breaking all of our clever puzzles, I would just build something that was so difficult to break that they you know, they couldn't do it, it would take them ages. So I've spent ages making this box and um, I think they broke into it in about 15, maybe 20 seconds. And the other day we went to visit Joel. He has to get used to getting away from his mum, which is a human. Uh, so we went into a cage and we were just sitting around there. He was screaming and he was so scared because he was away from his mum. But then suddenly I stretched my legs and then two minutes later he was sitting in my lap and falling asleep in my arms. And it was just an amazing experience. I loved that experience. He was just clinging on to me because it was his safe place at that point. We came here in 1970 to start farming and I went up to the car and on the floor in the car was what we thought was a dying baby chimp. I took the baby chimp and I managed to get it better and because I got it better, the game rangers then confiscated another chimp and another and another and that's how it all went on and started. Probably the most important aim is impacting on the lives of the chimpanzees that live here.